Hey guys, today we are going to look at dividing polynomials. We're going to answer the question, how do I divide polynomials using long division? So if you are dividing by a monomial, say you have something like 3x squared minus 2 divided by 3x, you can just divide each term by the monomial. But if we are dividing by something like 3x plus 1, something other than a monomial, then we cannot just divide each term by the 3x plus 1. We're going to have to do long division. So let's just review basic long division first. Um, if we are dividing a number, the number we're dividing, that is called the dividend, or if it's set up like a fraction, that's the numerator. And then the number we're dividing by is called the divisor, or if you have it set up like a fraction, it is the denominator. So remember, we put what we are dividing inside, and then the divisor goes on the outside. Okay, then you want to figure out how many times can 15 go into 18? And that would be one time. And now I'm going to do 1 times 15 and put the product underneath the 18. And then I'm going to subtract, and 18 minus 15 is 3. And then I'm going to bring down the other two numbers. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to look at 34, just the 34 part, and I'm going to say how many times can 15 go into 34? Well, it can go in two times. And 2 times 15 is 30. And then we're going to subtract, and then I get... 45, and then we will do the same thing again. How many times does 15 go into 45? That would be three times. And then three times 40, or three times 15 is 45, and then I subtract and get zero. So I have no remainder, and 1,845 divided by 15 is 123. So it's going to be a similar process whenever we're doing polynomial long division. You're going to do the first divided by the first, put the quotient up here, multiply, subtract, bring down your answer. So here are the steps. And as we are writing, or as we're going through the steps, I'm going to be solving this problem over here because if I just read you the steps, it doesn't make much sense. It'll help if you see an example. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that the terms are written in order and put a zero for placeholders for any missing terms. Because when we write a number like 1001, that zero is a placeholder. It really means we have 101 and zero tenths. Whenever you write polynomials, you don't have those placeholders. So like if you have x squared plus 2, then you need to write x squared plus 0x plus 2. So in... Our example over here, we have descending exponents. I, need, I don't need to put any placeholders, so we're good there. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to divide the first term in the dividend by the first term in the divisor. So we're gonna do the first divided by the first. x squared divided by x. And x squared divided by x is x, and I'm gonna put it above the other x term. Okay, now I am going to multiply and bring down my answer. So x times x is x squared. And then I also need to do x times negative 3. And x times negative 3 is negative 3x. So whenever we're figuring out what to put up here, we're only going to look at the first terms, but then when you multiply, you have to multiply both things. So I multiplied the divisor by the answer from step one. Okay, now I'm going to subtract, and I need to be very careful with my signs. Um, so what I like to do is when I'm subtracting, I like to change it to add the opposite and distribute the negative out so I see what signs I'm doing right in front of that term. So x squared minus x squared zeros out, and then 2x plus 3x is 5x, and now I'm going to bring down the minus 15. Okay, now I am just going to keep repeating this process. So I'm going to go back up here, divide the first, 
multiply and then subtract until we get to if there's a remainder. So I'm going to do the first divided by the first again. 5x divided by x is positive 5. So I'm going to put plus 5 up here. And then I'm going to do 5 times x, which is 5x. And then 5 times negative 3, which is negative 15. And now I'm going to subtract this, but I like to change it to plus the opposite. So it just makes it easier. The sign's right in front of the term. So 5x minus 5x zeroes out and negative 15 plus 15 zeroes out as well. So I don't have a remainder. So the quotient or the answer here was x plus 5. Okay, let's look at number 1. I'm going to set up this problem. I'm dividing by x minus 1. x squared plus 2x minus 3 is the dividend. So now I'm going to do the first divided by the first. So x squared divided by x is x. And now I'm going to multiply. So x times x is x squared. And x times negative 1 is negative 1x or just negative x. Now I need to subtract this group. So I'm going to change that to plus the opposite. And I'm going to change the signs inside. Okay, then x squared plus negative x squared zeroes out and x plus x is 3x. And now I'm going to bring down the negative 3. Okay, now I'm going to do the first divided by first again. So 3x divided by x is positive 3. And now I'm going to multiply. 3 times x is 3x. And 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And I'm going to subtract, but I'm going to change it to plus the opposite just to make the signs a little bit easier. And it zeroes out, so I have 0 remainder. So the quotient here is x plus 3. Okay, number 2. Let's set up this long division problem. 2x plus 3 is what I'm dividing by. 2x squared minus 5x minus 12 is the dividend. So now I'm going to do the first divided by the first. 2x squared divided by 2x. If you're struggling with those little division problems, you can write them out. 2x squared divided by 2x is going to be x. So that's what will go up here. And now I multiply x times 2x is 2x squared. And then x times 3 is 3x. And now I'm going to subtract. But I'm going to change it to plus the opposite. Okay, so 2x plus negative 2x will zero out. And negative 5x plus negative 3x is negative 8x. And then I'm going to bring down the negative 12. And now I repeat the process. First divided by first, negative 8x divided by 2x is negative 4. Again, if you're struggling with those little division problems, you can write them off to the side. Negative 8x divided by 2x is negative 4. And now I multiply negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x. And negative 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. And now I am going to subtract this, which I'll change to plus the opposite. And it ends up zeroing out. So my quotient is x minus 4. Okay, number 3, let's set this up. Divisor goes out here. Dividend goes on the inside. And I start out by doing the first divided by the first. So x squared divided by x is x. And then x times x is x squared. And x times 4 is 4x. And now I'm going to subtract this, which I'll accomplish by adding the opposite. So x squared plus negative x zeroes out, and then negative 2x plus negative 4x is negative 6x. And then we'll bring down the negative 4. 
Okay, now I'm going to do the first divided by the first again. So negative 6x divided by x is negative 6. And now I'm going to multiply negative 6 times x is negative 6x. And negative 6 times 4 is negative 24. Okay, now I'm going to subtract that product by adding the opposite. So 6x plus 6x zeroes out and negative 4 plus 24 is 20. So this time I have a remainder because x will not go into 20. So I've reached the end here, but my remainder is 20. So I have x minus 6 with a remainder of 20. And let's go over how to write the remainder. If there is a remainder, then we're going to write it as a fraction with the divisor as the denominator, and we'll just add it to the quotient. So the way that we will write this is x minus 6 and then plus 20 over the divisor was x plus 4. All right, number 4. So I want you to notice that first of all, we have an x to the third power. And then I only have three terms. So I'm going to have to put a placeholder here. So 2x to the third would come first. And then we have no zero. We have no x squared term. So I'm going to put a plus zero x squared because we need those placeholders when we're doing division. And then plus 5x minus 4 all over x minus 2. Okay, now I can do my long division problem now that I have this dividend set up correctly with the placeholders. So x minus 2 is the divisor and 2x to the third plus 0x squared plus 5x minus 4 is the dividend. Okay, now we're going to do the same process. First divided by the first, 2x cubed divided by x. I'm going to write that out to the side. 2x to the third divided by x would just be 2x squared. So 2x squared, and now I multiply. 2x squared times x is 2x to the third. And then 2x squared times negative 2 is negative 4x squared. And now we are going to subtract this by adding the opposite. And 2x cubed plus negative 2x cubed zeroes out. And 0x squared plus 4x squared is 4x squared. And now I'm going to bring down the plus 5x minus 4. Okay, now I repeat the process first divided by first. So 4x squared divided by x is 4x. And 4x times x is 4x squared. And then 4x times negative 2 is negative 8x. And now I'm going to subtract this by adding the opposite. So 4x squared plus negative 4x squared zeroes out. And 5x plus 8x is 13x. And then I'll bring down the negative 4. Okay, and 13x divided by x, I still can do that. x can go into 13x 13 times. And now I'm going to do 13 times x, and I get 13x. And then 13 times negative 2, and I get negative 26. And now I'm going to subtract this group by adding the opposite. 13x plus negative 13x zeroes out. And negative 4 plus 26 is 22. And that is our remainder since x cannot go into 22. So our final answer is going to be 2x squared plus 4x plus 13 with this remainder that I will stick over the divisor. So it's going to be 2x squared plus 4x plus 13 plus 22 over x minus 2. All right, number 5, a rectangle has an area of 12m squared minus 7m minus 10. If the width of the rectangle is 3m plus 2, write an expression to represent the length of the rectangle in simplest form. So let's think about the area of a rectangle formula. It is area equals length times width. 
and they are wanting us to find the length. So to isolate the length in this formula, I would divide by the width. So to find the length, we will take the area and divide it by the width. So let's see if we can set up a division problem based on that information. We need to take the area, which they told us is 12m squared minus 7m minus 10. So to find the length, we're going to do the area, which is 12m squared minus 7m minus 10. And then we are going to divide it by the width, which they told us the width is 3m plus 2. Okay, and I'm dividing by a binomial, so I know that means I need to do long division. So let's go ahead and set that up. 3m plus 2 is the divisor and 12m squared minus 7m minus 10 is the dividend. Okay, now we do first divided by the first, 12m squared divided by 3m is 4m. And now we multiply 4m times 3m squared is 12m squared. And then 4m times 2 is 8m. And now I'm going to subtract this group by adding the opposite. And 12m squared plus negative 12m squared simplifies out. And negative 7m plus negative 8m is negative 15m. And then we'll bring down the negative 10. And now I'm going to do the first divided by the first again. So negative 15m divided by 3m is negative 5. And now I'm going to multiply negative 5 times 3m is negative 15m. And negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. Now I'm going to subtract this group by adding the opposite and it zeroes out so I don't have a remainder. So that means the length after I did the area divide by the width is 4m minus 5.